Though this popular set was sold out at Lego stores and on backorder on lego.com, Walmart had this for one day shipping, so I was able to get it really fast. And this is the Lego Batman 2021 Batman Classic TV Series Batmobile with 345 pieces, too many figures, retailing for $30 in the United States. Seems to be a Walmart exclusive for now here, but you can also get it at Lego stores and shop at home. This set includes two exclusive minifigures with a classic TV series Batman and Joker. A sore spot is that it's missing the classic Robin, which I'm using the one to the right here from the Batcave set in 2016. Really hard to get now, especially since this set is missing it. That design had a Batmobile as well, but it's a slightly different design from this one, as are the minifigures, which are slightly different. The printing on the face in this version, I think is better than that original version. The original version had more of a tan look. You also have a different facial expression. This one, I think the skin tone is a little bit more accurate. Seems like the mask printing is just about the same, but Lego still considers it a different piece in their parts database. The torso printing is slightly different with a gray instead of, I think it was like a sand blue for the base. The legs are slightly different. Once again, using that gray and instead not using dual molded legs, which does kind of suck. I wish the side printing had a continuation of that front printing because it just looks inconsistent. They could have easily put dual molded legs in this set, but it's not too big of a deal, but still a downside of this figure. He has two batterings, which are kind of weird because the batterings are used in the first bag's building instructions, but they don't appear until the third bag. I don't know if that's just my copy of this set. Still, there's a little bit of different ad printing as well, where we have that middle part there that wasn't on the original figure. At the back, if you lift up this cape, which the cape design is that newer design, I guess at this point it's not too new, but it's not the original paper capes that would always get bent. You can see some more back torso printing. That looks really nice with the little zipper there even. And at the back of the minifigure, you have an alternate facial expression, which has a more determined look. And you can see how that fits with the mask at the back. For Cesar Romero's Joker minifigure, I love this minifigure. Again, very similar to the one in the 60s Batcave. Little differences here and there from what I can notice. I really wish I had the Batcave to compare the two side by side, but just looking at the pictures online, this design has a slightly different torso with the tie there. And also the leg printing doesn't continue to the side, which man, that's a problem with the Batman minifigure as well. You would think with a set five years later it would have an updated, more accurate design, but nope, they just kind of skimped out on some of those details. The face this time around has a smiling look just like the old one, but instead it has an open mouth. Love how they kept the painted over mustache there, which is just a nice production detail. Also the same hair piece appears, which I love getting that hair piece in a lime green. And the alternate face is a more confused look, which looks great as well. I also like his accessory using the Overwatch gun in black. While this is not a direct consumer set, I really love how the official build has a display stand. I wasn't expecting that for just a cheap $30 set. The display stand itself unfortunately uses a sticker for that informational part at the front. I just wish those were printed more, especially when it has a limited number of colors like this, so it could have been a more easy print. It also has a little rotating disc part right here. So you could put the Batmobile on there and it's actually really good if you're going to review the set like I am and you could just spin it around like this. You see how well that works? And you could see some more annoying stickers. This one is fine. I mean, I don't mind putting those rectangular ones at that size, but then the ones at the corner right here are a little bit annoying. Then the really annoying ones are on one by one tiles. Like we're really doing that stickered one by one tiles. Just make those prints, please. So hard to get those lined up correctly. And then at the side, you could see that these little hub caps right here are actually printed one by one circular tiles. So I like that those are at least printed and you get four of those with each of the wheels. You can see it on this side as well. And another thing I really like about this is that these parts at the front actually have a replacement part so that you don't have to have stud shooters for a collector set. Just demonstrating the stud shooters. You know how those work. At the end of the instructions, they show how to take the stud shooter one and make it a flat front right there. It's five steps in total, very simple to do. And they include those extra pieces. Like when I was done building the stud shooter version, I was like, wait, why are there extra pieces? And then I flipped to the next page. I'm like, oh. And yeah, just look how better that front looks with the stud shooters removed.
But anyways, for a closer look at the build, that front section does have a sticker right here. I do love how they did the grill at the front using those two small cheese slopes and actual one by two grill pieces as I call them. Nice detailing with those uh, inverted pieces that are one by twos that also have the one by twos at the front. Gives it a nice thin layer at the bottom there. And in this middle section, I don't like how they did this one part, which is actually something that's present on the original version, but instead this grill one by two was facing the other way. It's a very flimsy design and it could just fall off easily. This used to be an illegal Lego connection, but now it's a actual legal connection in Lego's books. For the two seats, it is a real sore spot that Robin is missing when you have just that one seat open and you have a sticker right in the middle for the monitor design. Sticker for that rocket launcher in the middle is pretty cool as well. Like the use of the foam piece in red there. And then we have the steering wheel. You can see how well the Adam West Batman minifigure the set fits inside that front seat. Anyways, at the back, I like how they had the positioning of these parts here on those one by twos, which can be moved up and down just a little bit. If you push it down too much, there's a little bit of a disconnection there. So you just gotta line it like right here. And then they also have these parts which are a little bit different from the build of the original. I remember the original had these two parts right here. This just has three separate ones. And you position it like this. And then we have the same design on the side right here. Again, at the ends here, we have a sticker that's a little bit difficult to align correctly. It's not too big of a deal. The one by ones at the back here. Again, the one by ones at the back here are the most annoying parts for stickers. But anyways, I like how they did the engine design right here using this piece. And then we do have a trunk design, which uses this newer panel piece, and you could open it up and maybe fit two batterings in there, which are included in the set. Let's see, putting one in there. Oh, you could fit more than just two. And then for one last look at the set, if you're curious how the underside works, well, just that little circular plate right there is what gets attached to the display stand. But anyways, that's it for the build of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. It's fun to spin this around. For this $30 box size, it's really nice to see even the classic logo in the corner there. And at the back, they actually have a feature I didn't even think of. You could put those extra pieces to swap out with the front stud shooters at the back in the trunk there. You'd even put the stud shooters at the back there. That's really cool. For the instructions, it's funny because there's literally no sets to advertise unless they want to put the 18 plus helmet or the four plus little bat mobile set of this wave. because. LEGO DC has such little sets this year, yeesh. So overall, I'm so glad this set exists as a 2021 set. I missed out on that direct consumer bat cave set. This is a nice substitute for those who didn't get it, where you have the most iconic part of the builds really of the show, which would be the Batmobile, but also two really cool minifigures. Now I can't help but feel like they skimped out on the minifigures here whether it be their lack of side leg printing or lack of dual molded legs specifically for Batman. Though there are some improvements over them with the face print and some slightly different torso designs. And then the biggest flaw would be how it's missing a key character, which is Robin. If they don't make, say, a Batcopter set this summer or next year, there's really only one way to get that Robin, which is that discontinued 60s Batcave set. It seems so obvious to include Robin in this set, especially as a $30 set, where most $30 sets include at least three minifigures if it's a minifigure based set. But whatever, with all things considered, I ended up rating this set a seven out of 10. Love the build here, though it's not entirely original because we did get it in the Batcave. This is a slightly improved version in some ways though. And then the minifigure selection, while really cool, does feel a little bit lackluster for what it could have been and compared to the original 60s Batcave set from five years ago. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, even if you guys think I'm going too hard on this set. I really do love that this is a set, but it does have those little flaws that are kind of annoying me. Hit that subscribe button for more LEGO content, but I'll see you guys later. Peace out.